Hey everybody, it's Ping with Vital MX, and we're at State Fair Raceway today, riding the 2022 Honda CRF 250, and giving you guys our uh, race spec settings. This is my first time on the bike, so I was really excited for today. I didn't get to make the intro trip up to Oregon. Uh, so excited to ride this thing, and just my initial impression on the bike, a couple things hit me just right away. The first jump I landed off of, I just was like, Ooh, that's good suspension. Like it just has that really progressive plush, but the right amount of progressive firmness built into it where it just feels really solid and stable. Uh, that was like literally in the first half a lap, first time I jumped something, I was like, ooh, I like that. Uh, and then, you know, you start to look, dig into all those other things. How, how does it handle acceleration chop? How does it handle braking bumps? How does it turn? All the other things, right, that come along with that. And obviously there's a million new things. This bike's all brand new. You can go back and look at our uh, introduction video to get a full walkthrough on that. But if you've got one of these bikes, you're in luck because you don't need to do a whole lot to this thing to make it awesome. Uh, we had a Honda technician or a Showa technician out here with us today and uh, thinking we would probably need him for some in-depth stuff. And listen, we didn't make a whole lot of changes, but there are a few subtle things that he taught us that are definitely going to translate to you guys. So. Uh, let's start with the engine and, and performance on that side of things. Obviously just the maps here, one, two, and three. One is standard, two is soft, three is aggressive. I found the maps to be very subtle, uh, just very nuanced between even the soft and the aggressive. I'm kind of bouncing fat back and forth going, eh, I don't know, man, not a whole lot of difference. So I ended up on the aggressive just because I don't feel like at any time it's, it's too abrupt. So my recommendation, I think everybody's going to like that aggressive map for the most part. Uh, but play with them, get comfortable with them. Uh, it, it, what's nice is if you go to someone that's got a tuner, they can build some different maps into those, um, at least a couple, and give you some, some more significant change options. Uh, everything else uh, in the engine is it's a no-brainer. The gearing is just right, and they made some changes internally to the primary drive gear that kind of replicates what they did on their factory bike last year and basically brings the gear ratios together. Second and third are, are tighter. And so before where you had to kind of rev second out to get third to pull, now they it's just a nice easy jump from one gear to the next. So that's, everybody's gonna appreciate that, right? There's But there's not a lot of adjustment in terms of that. I think the stock gearing is really good. Nothing to mess with there. So it really comes down to setup and chassis. And um, we did find some good things today. So initially I found rolling into some of these high speed, really blue groove hard pack berms. It almost felt like the front end was, was diving in a little deep and then wanted to deflect. So we tried going too stiff, too click stiffer on compression on the fork. And then I lost my comfort, like that nice plush absorption I was getting on the bumps. So we went back out. I said, let's try sliding the forks down in the triple clamp. We went down only one mil. Okay. And, and the, the Showa tech wanted us to point something out that with Showa, versus KYB in particular, it's very, very sensitive. So if on a, a, a KYB setting, you would go maybe two or three clicks, just go one with Showa stuff. It's super sensitive to change and you'll notice a very, very small change. I mean, he told me he wanted to drop the forks one mil and I was like, ah, we're gonna be here all day. I'm trying to get somewhere. But that one mil made a huge difference. It kept the fork a little bit, the front end a little taller. So I didn't have that divey feel in the turns. I still feel, and I think what I'm feeling was tire roll. It's a, it's a mid to intermediate Pirelli front tire and they have a softer sidewall. And so you get it on blue groove where you're really loaded and it will roll. Uh, and I think that's what I was feeling. But in terms of the action of the fork, for me, just dropping it a mil. Uh, and, and basically, if you look on that fork, there's two lines. We just got the, the, the bottom line to where it was buried to where you couldn't see it in the clamp. I mean, it, it, it's one mil. It's a very small amount of, of movement. But like I said, it made a very uh, profound change to the feel of it. And then that was it. We did do, once we made that change, then we went one click softer on the compression on the fork and an eighth of a turn open on high speed compression on the rear. An eighth of a turn. So, I mean, I'm talking very, very small changes make very big impacts on this bike. So just keep that in mind because normally I would go half a turn on that high speed if I wanted to really feel a change. And then maybe you come back and split the difference and go a quarter of a turn, but there an eighth of a turn made the difference. So just keep that in mind on this motorcycle, the changes are very sensitive and I will reiterate, um, how important sag is. We did this on the Honda 450 where 
Sag was at 102 because it was new. We thought, ah, oh, it'll break in. It felt stink bug the whole time. I'm like, man, this is, it doesn't feel good. So we brought it back in, set the sag at 105, perfect. So three millimeters, I mean, three mils is not a big, uh, you know, amount of room if you're looking at it. But just that sag number from 103 to 105, or 102 to 105, made all the difference in the world in setup, in the way it felt, in the balance. So again, 105 is the number here, but he wanted us to convey to you guys that there's a certain way you measure that, okay? He wants you to sit a little bit further back on this motorcycle. So if you're looking at the, the Honda logoing on the seat, he wants your butt to be back to where it's right in between the H and the O. That's where the back of your butt should be. That's just the balance point where they want you for this thing. Normally I would sit a little bit further up towards the front in the pocket. He kept pulling me back and I thought it was strange. And he goes, this is where you need to be on this bike to set the sag right. So I, that's something that I thought was big because it's different. And then again, where you run your tape measure from the back of the swing arm, and again, we've got video to show you here, up behind the side number plate, there's a little kind of a plastic stub that sticks out that stops it. And it, it's, it's made for a tape measure to come through there. There's a very specific place they want you to measure from. So 105 from the back of that swing arm to that spot on the side plate. I can't tell, I can't stress this enough, check that regularly because it will change as you put more time on the bike and it's very, very sensitive, 105. Those were the only changes we made. So I went one softer on the fork, dropped it a mil in the clamp, and an eighth of a turn open on the high-speed compression in the rear, and I got really, really comfortable with it. This thing will lay into a turn, it stays nice and settled, really good uh, traction and straight line stability, accelerating, and good absorption on the on like sharp braking bumps coming in turns. I mean, I had, I felt bad the guy came out here, you know, we, had, we <laughs> were just thinking we would work through a bunch of different options and settings. And in 10 minutes, we we're like, yep, yeah, it's bitching. I have, I have nothing else I want to change. And that's a good thing. That bodes very well for the Honda here as we get into shootout season. And I, like I said, I don't have much else to tell you on this thing. You're going to love it. If this is a great motorcycle. Uh, there's really no place it went backwards, just better everywhere. I would tell you that this is probably not an awesome front tire if you're riding hard pack stuff. That would be my one suggestion to find a hard pack tire of your choice. Um, because this one has a tendency to roll. Um, if you're in soft or medium, it's fine. But I think that on the hard pack, it's just not set up for that. But that's it. You're going to love this thing. Thank you to Honda for uh, letting us bring this bike out and have another ride on it. It's We're into shootout season. You're going to probably see our uh, 450 shootout coming out later this week or next. And then the 250 will follow. So stay tuned. It is going to be a battle. And I think this Honda is going to be up near the pointy end. So be fun to watch that. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you next time.